When I touched down in New Delhi on a sweltering May night, my head was spinning with statistics about climate change and complex concept maps of malnutrition. But my eight weeks in India taught me to look beyond just the science and the economics of our food systems, and instead understand how food security, climate change, public health, and social inequities play out at the human-to-human -human grassroots level. My summer with the SM Sego Foundation, a rural development NGO in India, was a microcosm of this global food security work happening. And I'd like to share three main lessons I'm taking with me from this summer. The first is that this work is all about people. As simple as it sounds, nations and their economies are made up of people, like you and I, with their own hopes, fears, and dreams. I learned this at the villages, where I connected with mothers and farmers, teaching each other our native languages and playing with their children. And it was through these connections that I, I learned that as we work to feed the planet within planetary boundaries, the solutions to these complex and nuanced issues must safeguard the dignity and humanity of every person. Which brings me to my second lesson, is that one way this is possible is through community-driven development. Giving communities a personal stake in these solutions and empowering people to see themselves leading their futures. I recognize this by realizing that the people I met had so much more to teach me than I had to teach them. And I learned to ask, get to the whys, to ask questions that got to the social, cultural, and community dimensions underpinning local food systems to help create solutions that were both context-specific and culturally relevant. The villagers I met also taught me how food is so much more than just a micronutrient count or crop yields. By, um, through hand field dates during our interviews and proudly showing me their kitchen gardens in their backyards. I gained new perspectives on how food connects us all and is deeply connected to people's upbringing, identities, and cultures. Anchored in all of these understandings, another truth became crystal clear. This work is so much bigger than myself or any one of us and I saw the importance of amplifying the voices of the communities at the front lines of these poly crises. Yet, with this learning, the people I met this summer and the people I've met at this dialogue so far have shown me the difference and impact one person can have because we all bring unique perspectives and value to this issue space. So I'm incredibly grateful and thankful for the World Food Prize for granting me this opportunity to step outside of myself and explore these pressing issues at the human-to-human -human grassroots level. I like to think of myself as a mosaic of all of the conversations, connections, revelations, and experiences I shared with the people this summer. And I feel energized and empowered to tackle these global issues alongside every one of you. Thank you.